Welcome to the session of data interpretation and this session is related to your block zero and this session especially related to your shortcut calculation technique. What is meaning of shortcut calculation technique? Means whatever you are uh, applying, you are learning the Vedic math technique. Whenever you, you want to apply for DI caselets or quant questions, then what are the facts or what are the points you should keep in mind? to improve your accuracy or to maintain your accuracy and you will uh, feel it is easy to apply also means it should be easy to apply and your accuracy should not much affect in this session we are going to discuss what are the silent points or what are the main points or facts you should keep in mind whenever you are applying the Vedic math technique especially you can say a speed calculation approximation and comparison and apart from that one of the wide wide aspect what is what is the meaning of calculation technique calculation technique meaning is not only if you are able to do multiplication very fast then you will able to solve the di caselet very fast no this is not only meaning it is so many meanings are there like uh, you should know about the how many type of data distribution like in how many ways we will able to represent the data in different format that is also a part of that if you are not knowing about the different type of data representation then it will take a lot of time to decipher how to represent that data and how to how to that uh, you can say reconvert that data in mathematical format then all these you can say it is a part of your calculation technique not only just learning one or two trick and technique and you will feel okay i am very expert in vedic math it is not a part it is very you can say so many points are there and so many facts are there you should always keep in mind whenever you are applying the vedic math technique then this session we will going to explore about that point and how to apply that point during your calculation and again during the practice session we'll practice all these all these related points whatever mentioned in this session and based on that assumption and facts you will able to you will able to calculate or you will uh, you will apply the calculation technique in better way then uh, learning points if you will say this uh, uh, this session then you can say it, it is about the Vedic math and how Vedic math is interrelated to with arithmetic operations arithmetic operations you can say it is a basic operations plus minus multiplication and division afterwards meaning of calculation technique what is the meaning of calculation technique I think it is not only limited to some speed calculation or if you are if you are uh, very good in finding the square of any number then you can say you are expert in Vedic math and you will able to apply the calculation technique no more important apart from that all these techniques some other facts are there some other techniques are there or some other points are there that you should keep in mind otherwise what will happen maybe you will apply the technique calculation technique or Vedic math technique but maybe percentage of error will be very high and if percentage of error are very high then it is no use to apply Vedic math technique anyway you will land in wrong solution and you will mark wrong answer then what is use better will spend few minutes you will get the right solution if you are applying the, this technique Vedic math technique or calculation technique then one of the fundam fundamental purpose is there you should arrive at right solution means your percentage of error or deviation from the error should be minimum or you can say maximum five to seven percent because generally difference between two option choices will be more than 30 35 percent then if your deviation from uh, correct solution or you can say you can say your uh, accuracy is affected only by five to seven percent then you will able to mark the correct answer that is your first goal second goal during the during that process you should able to save the time these two many fundamental uh, fundamental purpose you should able to save the time and after saving the time and ap ap applying the Vedic math technique you should arrive at the correct solution if any of the things are not happening then no use you are scrap it then I will suggest you you are scrap it or otherwise you can say you have not learned all the technique properly means you have to you have to work out little more to develop that level of a skill then just uh, you can say uh, one another point we'll discuss what are the three areas of calculation and what are the three pillars of Vedic math and few points of observation what are observation points or you can say facts or uh, what points you should keep in mind whenever you are applying the calculation technique or Vedic math and afterwards of course it is application where you can apply these all technique now before starting the session just will uh, just will review just one or two minutes what are the syllabus of CAT and what we are doing right now CAT is divided in four sections QA, DI, LR and VA for preparation purpose. For exam purpose it is divided in three sections only QA, DI and LR will be combined and VA will be separate. But here for preparation point of view it will be easy to prepare if you are dividing in four sections QA, DI, LR and VA because once you are combining DI and LR then clarity of thought will not develop. 
means whatever categorization of caselets are there that is totally based on different concept in di and lr then once you are separating and you are you are preparing separately di and lr then you will get more confidence and you more clarity of thought how to apply any of the mathematical concept for a particular type of di caselet or particular type of a lr caselet then right now we are doing the di and di further is divided in four blocks block one block zero block one block two and block three or in shortcut or code what you can say di b0 di b1 di b2 and di b3 then right now we are doing di b0 data interpretation block 0 and that is mainly part of your vedic math almost around 35 hours video video session will be there in your di b0 or you can say block 0 of data interpretation or you can say it is a preparation before starting a bit, uh, better preparation or it is a full part of vedic math how to develop a sense of data handling how to develop a sense to handle the calculation and how to make your make your interest to play with the numbers all these will be our purpose and these 25 session will enlighten you all the aspect how to handle with the data how to handle with the numbers and how to increase your learning speed and how to correlate di and quant together because all both sections are almost similar LR you can separate little bit but quant and DI almost similar you can say it is a just extension of quant it is a DI and in phase 3 during your advanced session I will show you based on the one small question of quant I will I will frame one full DI caselet of four or five questions I will show you it is not like I am just telling you I will show you based on one line question like any any of the area like arithmetic numbers or maybe algebra I will just extend I will keep on extend that same facts and same same concept of question I will keep on to and it will become a full DI caselet based on that information provided then here basic math this uh, di b0 further we have divided in two folders cf1 and cf2 cf1 will deal with the general application of basic math or general aspect of basic math and another one aspect is there basic math versus calculator and uh, concept folder 2 that will discuss all the techniques related to your basic math whatever discussed in your basic math sutras actually total 16 sutras only are there in original basic math book reading and only one volume has written as per your information just i am telling you only one volume of vedic math has written who was the writer that was sangra of uh, uh, puri mata he was planned to write 16 volume Be in first volume it is just introduction of 16 sutras and he was planned to write one one book related to one sutra that would give a very wide scope of mathematics learning but what happened by bad luck after publication of first volume he was just preparing for second volume and in between his death happened then nobody he has carried forward his work and only one volume of Vedic math what is original work by that that uh, Sankaracharya is everywhere popular or you can so, so many country it is a part of your academic curriculum also but not in India it is invented by India or it is flourished in India in ancient time but it is not a part of Indian academic curriculum but so many European countries they have kept this is a your academic curriculum during your school time and their children are learning very fast Vedic math then here these 16 16 sutras related to that all 16 sutras is not not applicable for cat preparation or not it is necessary to learn all in detail because that will become again as like a research type topic it means Vedic math you are doing some research or you are trying to understand full Vedic math it is not required for preparation level if you are doing some work related to mathematics then you can go for but for cat preparation whatever extract of that 16 sutra I have extracted so many technique around you can say 40 plus odd techniques technique and that is compiled and discussed in detail in next 23 sessions this session is your dib0 cf2 cv2 your second session and first session i have discussed about the mathematical operation i hope it was very interesting session and uh, around 40 to 45 minute session i fully explored about the different type of mathematical operations and order of mathematical operations if same type of mathematical operation also you are getting then what will be the order left to right or if you are getting a different type of mathematical operation then board mass v board mass bid mass so many things are there then here now about afterwards the discussing about the mathematical operation our next thing to understand what is the calculation technique once you understood mathematical operation then you have to understood what is the calculation technique and how to apply the calculation technique what are the facts what are the points and what are the assumptions you should keep in mind before application of uh, calculation technique or vedic math technique and next from next topic onward next session onward we will come to the all techniques whatever is whatever uh, we are intended to learn during your 
DIB0 or block zero of data interpretation. Then first thing I will just tell you, Vedic math, almost all Vedic math sutras developed based on three fundamental concepts using and counting in various ways. First is your place value. That is most important in your Vedic math technique. Like you can say it is just understanding the math in different way because we are habituated to understand the math whatever western math we are we are uh, we are learning during our school time but it is totally different thinking way of thinking is different counting is different and uh, understanding the repetition of digit that is another important aspect then means second you can say repetition process means in indian civilization you will see everything they have bounded as a cyclic process like time is also a cyclic process maybe cycle will be very big but time is a cyclic process. Western philosophy says time is a linear process. What Indian philosophy says time is a cyclic process. Ram has not come only one time. Ram will come again and again and again and again. Whenever Treta Yug will come, Ram will come. Whenever Dwapar Yug will come, Krishna will come. This yes, so cycle has Sat Yuga, Kala Yuga and uh, Treta Yuga. It will keep on proceed. It is a like cyclic process before becoming the Mahapralaya. And everything is defined based on the certain number of years. And all the calculations are very perfect. Once now, all uh, astrophysics or uh, who are the scientists, who are uh, who are uh, doing the research uh, related to a uh, space science they are finding whatever calculation is provided by the indian indian ancient books all calculation are almost perfect why one of the one of the method was their pattern method and repetition method they have seen everything is in under pattern full nature is happening full nature has originated and it will end it will fall down in the black hole in so called black hole in modern terms it is a just a cyclic process it is a like a pattern way then repetition process is one of the important pillar for Vedic math and based on repetition process so many sutras are defined and next most important is your division process in division you are getting the quescent and reminder based on the repetition of the quescent and reminder and based on the correlation between quescent and reminder many of the techniques will develop then you can say these three are pillar of the Vedic math based on these three fundamental thinking or very you can say three very abstract thinking I cannot say it is a very fundamental beyond fundamental it is very abstract thinking based on that abstract thinking these 16 sutras has developed and once you will go through the original volume original books of Vedic math then that 16 sutra has explained in brief it is not explained in very detail because plan was there based on every sutras one book will be written but it has not happened that is bad luck or whatever you can say now just will proceed next Calculation technique. Calculation technique, I think again and again, I am just telling you, just I am reminding you. Calculation technique, don't feel it is a only a speed of calculation. No, it is three areas of calculation required to do the better calculation technique and to save the time during your mock test or during your sectional test or during your practice time or during your actual CAT. How you will able, able to save the time? If you are able to save the time, then another goal is there your accuracy rate should be correct means your accuracy rate should be almost 90 plus means your percentage of error should not cross 7 to 10 percent that is two targets are there if you are applying any shortcuts or any techniques to any problem or any data or any bunch of data or any caselets then two things always you keep in mind one is you should able to save the time second thing your percentage of error should not cross 7 to 10 percent then only it is useful if both are not satisfied then no use if you are not able to set, apply both of the condition together it should apply together it is not like one caselet we have saved the time but we have arrived at wrong solution another another caselet we have spent more time but we got the right solution overall net effect zero both condition or both both things should satisfy together for every type of caselet and for each type of question whenever you are applying the Vedic bad technique I think it is hundred percent you just fit in your brain these two condition is there based on that only you should apply the techniques or Vedic math technique or calculation technique if it is not satisfied I will suggest you uh, scrap it or otherwise you put little more effort to acquire that skill here effort is not required here effort is not required why it is not required because this 23 session I will explore each and every point only thing you have to just be with me you just take one by one session all 23 session automatically everything all programming will done in your brain 
I am 100% sure it will be the kind of software I will feed in your brain. Only thing you should take all 23 sessions systematically because once you will once you will see 30 35 hours of video lesson related to Vedic math, it is of course you will develop all the skills. Wherever you are getting the doubts, you can ask me. I will give you the further further uh, dimension of thinking how to think in different ways. Then here calculation technique you can say that is already you know. Again I am repeating speed calculation, approximation and comparison. Comparison is you will say it is important why it is most important approximation of course it is important a speed calculation you can say it is a building blocks of Vedic math if you are not good in a speed calculation then you will not able to apply approximation and comparison in very well then just will come to the few points what you should keep in mind whenever you are applying the shortcut technique and all these points I will show you during your practice session no need to worry you have only this concept level session you have three practice session concept level session I am telling once we, we will come to phase three, we will go for rigorous practice session and we'll go to the advanced level, then plenty of question you will get it. And again, through test series, you will get plenty of plenty of practice questions related to your basic math, related to your DI block zero. But here, whatever I am telling to you, just try to keep in mind and try to remember it. If you are not remembered, just revise two, three times. What are the points? First thing is a starting digit. If any of the calculation you are doing, like maybe it is it is a four digit five digit or maybe very complicated multiplication and division or maybe percentage calculation always keep in mind the starting digit will make the greater role like just i will tell you a simple thing three five is multiplied with two nine or 42 is multiplied with 52 what are the main thing we'll keep here that after multiplication whatever you will get the result whatever you will get the result what will be the main digit that will decide that number this four and two 4 and 5 is it not this 4 and 5 only will decide what will be this number and remaining this number will decide further value but just you multiply 4 and 5 it will become 20 and you just put 2 0 here just I'm telling you just you put 2 0 then automatically you can say answer will be around 2000 around 2000 means this this number this 20 whatever is coming based on this multiplication of 4 and 5 that is your main number maybe this will change a little bit maybe it will be 2022 or maybe 2135 whatever will be there but these 20 will be almost intact maybe 1 plus minus will change then a starting digit is much much important because that will decide your net output afterwards number of digits again number of digits i am telling here 42 and 52 then you can say it is a 2000 but same thing i will just tell you i will just extend one number then what will happen these 20 you can keep but this number will change means you have to put 10 to the power 4 earlier we have put 20 into 10 to the power 2 because one here one here only two digits were there here 2 and 2 then 20 into 10 to the power 4 means your calculation will be approximately it will lie around this number around this number again so many techniques are there calculate multiplication technique percentage technique you can apply just i'm telling you in, just to keep in mind this is observation this is observation and observation is the key of learning observation is the key of learning based on the observation and critical thinking i have taken one separate session in your lr in your lr i have taken based on your observation one separate session and how to solve solve the puzzle based on your observation observation power then here this is just a kind of observation like 400 multiplied by 500 what will be 20 into 20 to the power 4 in place of 400 and 500 if it is 421 and 523 then it will be 20 into 10 to the power 4 approximately something it will be more than that but this number is not going to change much due to starting digits and number of digits. These two are most most important. Now next most important is last or unit digit. But that will depend on the type of questions. Type of the questions like question will be many of the question that will be based on the your like uh, unit digit pattern or if you are just multiplying two number or you are taking the pattern of last two digit or you are taking the perfect square number or perfect cube number then certain pattern of unit digit will be there if certain pattern of unit digit is there then always you catch the unit digit because based on that based application is you will able to eliminate the choices maybe you are you are you understood about the pattern of unit digit for that particular calculation then based on that understanding maybe out of four choice two choice you will automatically able to reject it means these two will not possible these two cannot be possible then these three things first for calculation purpose a starting digit and number digits and last or unit digit that will helpful for elimination of choices next point 
रिमूव द लास्ट फ्यू जीरोज और नंबर फ्रॉम ए बिग नंबर बट डू द सेम फॉर ऑल द नंबर लाइक जस्ट सपोज यू गॉट वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड कैलकुलेशन लाइक वन नंबर इज मे बी सिक्स डिजिट नंबर अनदर इज फाइव डिजिट नंबर अनदर इज लाइक सो मेनी टाइम्स सो मेनी टाइम्स यू विल फेस लाइक दिस इन डी आई एंड वन नंबर इज डेसीमल नंबर इट इज वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड देन वॉट टू डू इफ यू विल अपलाई द मल्टीप्लीकेशन टेक्निक और मे बी परसेंटेज टेक्निक और एनी अदर टेक्निक ऑल्सो दैट टेक्निक इट सेल्फ विल बिकम कॉम्प्लिकेटेड आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट Are you getting my point? What I want to say, if just suppose if your calculation part is involved, very huge number, very big number, maybe six digit number or more than that, or maybe decimal part or very high high power of ten or maybe high power of other number, then if you will apply the calculation technique also, that calculation technique itself will become very complicated. Means it will take a lot of time. Meaning here complication is it will take a lot of time. And our purpose is to save the time. Then what to do? We will remove from last from right hand side. we will remove the number of zeros or whatever number is there but whatever number you are removing just suppose you are removing two numbers two numbers you are removing from right hand side then remove two numbers from all the numbers whatever number involved in that calculation don't do like one number you remove from another, uh, one of the number one digit you remove from one number another number you remove two digit another number you remove three digit then it is a basic fundamental mathematical mistake this basic fundamental mathematical mistake you are just disturbing the place value you are getting my point if i am not wrong you are disturbing the place value then automatically you will get the wrong solution you will get the wrong output then what you have to do how many digit you want to remove based on the based on the uh, you can say number of digits involved in your calculation remove same number of digit from all the numbers then what will happen you are not disturbing the you are not disturbing the place value like just suppose if you are taking one uh, just will take one a small example it will be little bit more clear just you want to multiply 3 9 now just suppose you got this calculation after solving any question now what to do this this number is very complicated very complicated means once we apply the calculation technique also multiplication technique also this will become little more complicated what to do this is your seven digit number this is your nine digit number and this of course it will be three digit we will put it will be four digit number correct and this will become your again four digit number uh, five digit number then what to do we have to remove equal number of digits from all the numbers then how will do just will take maybe just we can remove 975 three digit we have removed from all from bottom also will remove three digit this will be out and here it will be out it will become 10 to the power 1 now calculation will become little easy now further we can apply the approximation because if you will you will remove more than three digit then what will happen at the denominator that value will become further down then your what will happen percentage of error will increase then further you don't remove don't remove like five digit or six digit then it will be useless it will become not much use that also you have to take care that that is just a part of experience once you will apply for few questions you will able to guess what to do how many digit you have to remove anyway during solving the di cassette i will show to you how to remove and how many digit you have to pick based on the calculation but here now it has become four digit number it has become uh, six digit number and uh, denominator has become very easy number denominator has become very easy number now further you can apply some approximation and afterwards you will able to pick the correct answer then always remove the last few zeros or numbers from a big number but do the same for all the numbers what we have done we have removed last three digit number but we have not disturbed any place value if we have not disturbed any place place value then calculation or you can say output of calculation will not change output of calculation will not change and how many digit you have removed uh, after the calculation at the end of calculation you can just multiply it like after doing the this calculation you can just multiply with 10 to the power 3 that will be enough or otherwise you will get the same, almost almost whatever number is required to get, mark the correct answer after doing this you will get it because here number of zeros and number of digits will matter and based on that option choices will be given and once you are looking the option choices then always you observe number of digits in option choices and afterwards if number of digits are same then how many zeros they have and if number of zeros are same then what is the initial digit whatever i told in first two three points that you look in option choices also then what will happen it is easy to eliminate just suppose one choice is given 3952 another choice is given 45678 
then what will be there one is four digit number another is six digit number another choice is five digit number then you are not sure which one will be happen then what is the best way what is best way to arrive at answer just to pick initial two digit a after your calculation which initial two digit is matching with your option choice you just mark it blind way that is enough that is enough because number of digit is given variable for all the choices you cannot control it you cannot control it initial digit if you got that is enough but just suppose if four choices are there all are having the same number of digit these all are i am telling based on my huge experience this is not written any books or nobody will teach you i am 100% sure nobody will teach you because it is not academic part it is totally based on own experience and all learn own learning or you can say it is a self learning part once you are keep on growing you have to learn from yourself that is self learning i am learning from myself so many things due to based on self learning i am telling you if just suppose your answer choices are having same number of digits then what is what is your target your target is from option choice whatever you are doing the calculation maybe it will be four digit or five digit whatever will be there either you can match the unit digit or number of digit whatever you are getting anyone anyone whatever you are getting with the best best uh, option choices you can mark the answer means all these you can say these points like unit digit or last digit number of digits a starting digits number of zeros how to remove last few digit these all you can apply with the questions also and you can apply with the option choices also as a part of observation or as a part of elimination process i told earlier also elimination is also a kind of selection elimination is also a kind of selection then either you are eliminating three choices out of four that is exactly similar either we are selecting one correct answer out of four then these all are the parts you should take care and with little practice practice means whenever you are doing the calculation or whenever you are solving the question you apply this once you will not apply you will never get once keep on you will apply your brain will tune to that you it will learn that software will learn software will be feeded in your brain and it will work automatically next point is there if data is very large number take two digit after decimal like just suppose if you are calculating the percentage value of very large number very large number you are calculating percentage value then what will happen in that large number just suppose if i am taking one number that is this is number and you want to calculate 32.5% of this number then can you ignore a 0.1% here no you cannot ignore why you cannot ignore because 0.1% itself will be a huge number but in place of that if i will tell you 253 you want to find 32.5% what you will do you can ignore 0.5 just you can find 32% that will be almost same because 0.5 will be not huge value it will be very less value it will be very less value but here this number 0.5% itself a huge number then you cannot ignore then always you calculate exact calculation and you can apply your shortcut technique there is not a issue but what i am telling direct approximation you should not apply because this number is very huge these all are just a common sense or based on the experience i am sharing with you you are just getting all the experience accumulative experience at a time which i gained during the last many years then here this huge number if you are applying 32.5% you should take exact 32.5% you can apply shortcut you can use rd table you can use all the all the hatkanda whatever you learn during your vedic math but you should not approximate like 32% will take or 33 will take or 32.21 will take no because 0.1% itself will be huge how much will be 0.1% just you suppose this will be 10 this will be 1 this will be 1 this 0.1% it will be 7955 can you suppose can you ignore 0.1% itself is 7955 can you ignore this number you cannot ignore but here 253 if you are calculating 0.1% it will be how much this is 10 this is 1 this is 0.1 0.25 your 1.1 percentage 0.25 0.25 either you are calculating or not calculating what is effect not effect you will ignore 0.5 also you will ignore hardly one hardly you will ignore one but here if you are ignoring the 0.5 you will ignore how much almost 8000 into 5 40000 will difference will come and what is advisable you should not apply direct blind approximation here but here you will able to apply blind approximation these all only if data is very large number take the digits after decimal also now next point is like conversion like uh, number to number to fraction fraction to percentage percentage to decimal and again decimal to word based question whatever is there these conversion should be very fast 
from left to right and from right to left both both should be very fast you can take the help of one of the tool is rd table another tool also you can apply based on the uh, you can say like uh, table whatever you know from 1 to 30 or so many tools are there you can apply but one of the best tool or defined tool is rd table you can apply this one to convert from number to fraction fraction to percentage percentage to decimal decimal to words or what to again number number to fraction anyway here to there there to here but this conversion should be very fast your brain should cope up with this conversion very fast after then unit conversion this you should not forget if you are solving like especially arithmetic question or many of the question that will be di caselet where unit will come in picture then all the data whatever given in one question that should be in same unit otherwise your calculation will become meaningless like just suppose 2 liter milk is mixed with 350 milliliter of milk if 2 plus 350 you will do what will happen it will become 352 milliliter but question is this one just suppose 2 liter of milk is mixed with 350 milliliter of milk. If you will not care about the milliliter and liter, both are different, then you will write 352. Either you will write liter or milliliter, depends on your, op your observation of that point of time. But anything you are writing, either you are writing milliliter or liter, both are wrong. What you should write? It should be either in liter or either in milliliter anything we should convert if we will convert in liter it will become 2.35 liter or we are converting in milliliter milliliter then it will become 2350 milliliter anyone but it should be in same unit then these all are the points you should always keep in mind unit conversion otherwise what will happen you will feel okay i have done the good and you will you got the answer and that answer also will be a part of your option choice then you will mark the answer but it will be wrong and afterwards elimination of choices that will be based on the various facts and various techniques you will able to eliminate the choices afterwards use rd table for conversion from one format to another format whatever i told to you like number to fraction fraction to decimal these all you can use rd table in different different way and use of rd table you can say it is a very very huge depends on you how much you are able to exploit it you can exploit it very high level next is range of values for approximation if you are approximating any calculation or anything or any any data then you always you keep in mind what is your range of approximation is what plus minus you are taking means if you are approximating then how much percentage of error it may be maximum means either plus side or minus side next is if you are comparing then based on the different mathematical operation like just to suppose you got one uh, one di caselet where three type of pi diagram is given three type of pi diagram is given and you have to correlate one pi diagram data to another and another pi diagram is related in in terms of division means two pi diagram you have to multiply data and third pi diagram you have to just divide based on any formula it may be based on the business formula so many formulas are there profitability profit profit at par or profit uh, profit at the value or sales sales so many formulas are there that will depends on your ratio or you can say multiplication and division because full these all business terminology will depends only on percentage and ratio these are all business terminology or even you will say chartered accountancy it will fully depends only on ratio and percentage nothing else all thing will be converted into ratio and percentage i will show you next to next to ratio chapter i will i ratio session i will show to you how these are much effective if you are using ratio very effective way so many things you will be able to understand in very easy way then compare always with respect to different mathematical operations and that time comparison you can do based on the base and based on the rate of conversion or rate of increase or rate of decrease then here if you are doing the comparison always you keep in mind what base you have taken that base is changing or not if it is changing how much it is changing these all if you are good this flow of flow of changing if you are able to do mentally then it will be comparison will be very easy and based on the comparison tool you will be able to save a lot of time i will show you during your practice session of di caselets I'm not just telling you, I will show you. And even in this Vedic math, Vedic math DI block zero also, you will, you will see your uh, practice, uh, practice file two and practice file three. Many of the question only based on the comparison of, co comparison of data, you will just mark the answer. You will just mark without doing any calculation. Only your comparison sense should be very strong. Then this is one of the important point. 
and next is sense of sorting of data means how data can be sort out in one group or one type and how it can be differentiated from other group or another type or you can say handling sense of handling the data how it will develop sense of handling the data i'm not teaching you data science i'm not teaching you how to become a data analyst i'm not teaching you how to become a data scientist no that is not required but data is important factor data is a new fuel without data you cannot survive due to everything coming down and centered about the data and due to data interpretation role it's keep on increasing day by day in your managerial role or during your mba course also data will be your center point because data is available now earlier data was very a scarce thing it was not easily available now data is very easily available daily trillion trillion of uh, 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 trillion trillion of uh, byte data is uploaded on internet and that data can be used in variety of way depends on which type of tool we are using and what is our purpose then data handling how to handle the data and how to sort of the data basic understanding you should know to handle the di in better way you should not be expert of like uh, any of the any of the you can say big language of data scientist like python or this on r studio it is not required but sense of handling the data should be and this is one of the important point it will have it will develop once you are knowing the different forms of data representation means in how many ways data can be represented all this is just you can say origin is a statistics origin is a statistics further a statistics only is keep on refining in different different format and new new courses and new new subjects are coming in picture like data scientist data analyst these are but root is a statistics a statistics is just a sorting of data based on the different different base or based on the different purposes that is only meaning of a statistics then just very fundamental purpose and how many type of graphs are there how many type of tables are there that you should be aware anyway i will discuss during your di session there is no issue i will just explain all type of graphs and tables in how many ways we will able to able to express the data or we will able to represent the data this is your a step one only representation understanding the representation of data is not not sufficient next you should understand if data has given in particular format or particular table then how to extract and how to use for mathematical operations then these you can say two three steps are there to understand fully and again it will keep on develop once we'll go for di block 1 i will take the session about the different type of tables different type of uh, data sorting and different type of data representation in plain way also we will able to represent the data and that will give you the very meaningful sense depends on our way of representation just plain way i will not use a single tool i will not use a bar graph i will not use a pie diagram i will not use any of the tables or any of the technique just simple way if i will write the data but it should be purpose should be defined and we should use some logic it can be represented in meaningful way then these all the points or facts you should always keep in mind whenever you you are using the vedic math technique or you are applying the calculation calculation technique now you will come to the application point of view then of course it is much helpful for your di type 1 type 2 and type 3 caselets and afterwards arithmetic and numbers in quant side and you can say it is a general idea about the math it is not very specific idea it will give you some school level math but in very different way your way of thinking your way of handling the math will be totally different due to you can say it is a general idea it will develop about the math you will develop some general sense some common sense about the mathematics and it will be helpful to solve the puzzles or it will helpful to say develop the common sense and not or you can say last but not least it will be much helpful for your day to day practical and professional life then you just keep it up you try to learn all basic math technique during next 23 season and after 23 season you will feel it is a very satisfactory and you will be fully confident how to use all these technique for your dilr and quant tech quant uh, qu uh, quantitative aptitude then i think last whatever i have discussed in last 30 to 40 minutes that was related to your basic math or how to use the calculation technique and what is the calculation technique what is the pillars of basic math everything i explained in very crystal clear way. and what are the points you should keep in mind that will reduce your percentage of error once you are applying the basic math technique or you are applying the calculation technique then you have given the very very wonderful wonderful attention to me and i am very very thankful to you thank you thank you very much